Hello, this is MakerJ11, and this is my school, Penn State Barron. That's where I go to school at. And today we're going to be going to Super Mileage Club. Um, I've been lots of times last semester. This is the first time this semester. Um, but yeah, so let's go to Super Mileage Club, and I'll take you guys along, and I will hopefully get some footage of some of the things that I'll be doing there. So we'll see what we're doing today. Hopefully it'll be fun. So, and interesting. So this is something that's pretty cool that's in Penn State. I always, every time I walk by this, I'm looking at it. So it's a big diesel engine. I believe it's a cat. I think it's pretty cool though. So yeah, no, it's a Cummins. It's a Cummins diesel engine. It's pretty awesome though. It's all cut away. Not exactly sure where this came from, but it's pretty awesome. It's got the turbocharger and everything on it. Like the detail of it is awesome though, and the paint job, it's amazing. It's pretty awesome though. There's the oil pump. That would pump a good bit of oil, I'll tell you that much. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's go to Super Mileage Club. Oh, shit, it's backward. Try that again. And it's gotta be the right height, so you have right amount of gear left. Well, we used to have shims on it. So Ryan, what are you uh, working on right now? All the right now we are fixing a hole in the carbon fiber body of the car. Ah, okay. Uh, with a new piece of carbon fiber. Sweet. It's just been coated in resin. Okay. Just getting the fitment down right now and finishing wiping up all the drips and making sure it's adhered well. Okay. Cool. It was small though. How did the hole get in there? <laughs> Um, we, we had needed, a little we needed about incident, 10 we had a tire go flat on us, Okay. so uh, <laughs> we the car running. went skidding across the pavement. Right, because there's no, yeah. hardly any clearance. Exactly. And I see. Yeah, cool. Stuff, so, I this ought to, to fix it up. Sweet. Sweet. Improve the aerodynamics a little bit. Yep. Yeah, today. yeah and then after we, after this dries, we'll sand it down, and then we'll put a little bit of uh, Bondo body feel, filler on it to smooth it out and flare, flare it in with the rest of the car. All right, cool. So when did we, when did the Super Mileage Club build this body? This body was built beginning uh, in September of 2015. Okay, so two, so it's been in, has it been in two races then. Or one race? Uh, just one. Just, just one race? This year will be its second. Second race this year, okay. Cool. Which it got the, like, is it actually record for how many fuel, for how many miles per gallon? Because it's 2,000, like... It's a Penn State Baron record. Okay, Penn State Baron, 2,500 and, like, 28 or something like that? Okay, cool. So, but yeah, it's a three-wheeled vehicle. The, that's that's where the back wheel, it's back wheel drive. This is where the back wheel goes. The engine goes about here. It's upside down right now. And then we've got the uh, two front wheels here, which those, that's how it steers. And then this is the engine that goes in it. Which, Scott, do you want to tell tell the subscribers about this engine a little bit? So this engine started life as a Briggs and Stratton uh, Junior Racing 206. Okay. It now has an extended steel cylinder to allow for a smaller connecting rod angle, uh, swept angle for the smaller bore, so that the okay. connecting rod fits down the bore. Right. It has a GX35 piston. 68 cc's of displacement and 18.4 to 1 compression ratio in its current state. Um, wow. GX35 valves, carbon fiber push rods, full roller rocker, and is still using the stock Briggs and Stratton cam. Wow. Um, <laughs> the that's exhaust awesome. you see here, um, it's covered in header tape right now, but that's an actual miniature glass pack we had custom CNC milled for us huh. so that it sounds nicer. Um, wow. Other than that, we have dual stage drive uh, CNC'd out of a piece of one inch billet um, all of the pulleys wow. all of the drive train uh, carbon fiber uh, frame yeah. frame um, their braided rail made out of continuous strands okay um, and other than so, that, just a brushless electric starter right. and ignition from a RC airplane. Huh, that's interesting. Cool. And a um, vacuum operated fuel power. Right, and this one got how many miles per gallon? 2,528 miles per gallon. That's uh, incredible. About 25% <laughs> thermal efficiency on the dyno. Wow. Uh, stock rate from Stratton for reference is about 6 to 8%. Okay. So, huh. um, it's anywhere from between uh, 3 and 4 times the stock rate. So it, it started out is a six horsepower, is that correct? Um, the Tour 6 is available between six and a half and 12 horsepower variants, okay. depending on what you do. Either. Right, and then now it's probably like... It's 2.5 on the dyno. Okay, that's still pretty powerful actually. 
So, and we're thinking about possibly replacing the piston with a smaller one? Yep. Hopefully wow. going smaller, going a little bit longer yeah. this drill can make it cool. about uh, 59 cc's instead of 68. Mm -hmm. Right. Getting the same power out of it. Okay. And what we're what we're doing on the dyno right now is actually testing a um, electronic fuel injection right now, right? Because we're hoping that'll. Because right now we're just running it carbureted, right? Yep. So, so if you look behind our high quality custom made <laughs> air, filter. air filter, you can see a Honda carburetor. Okay. Just the same thing you'd get on a scooter. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I would think that that's, that's a incredible that with a normal stock um, carburetor you're still able to get such a high fuel efficiency. Um, their most amazing. efficient uh, motorcycles actually store oh, really? carburetors. Wow. So. Yep. Huh. That's amazing. What's the gearing ratio? to the wheels? Um, it is about 12 to 1, just a little bit over that. Okay. So the end of it is that the engine is doing 4,300 RPM for the car to be doing 22 okay. miles an hour. And okay. that's about peak efficiency at top speed. So. Interesting. Now how was that calculated? What? How, how did you guys figure out what the peak efficiency was? The peak efficiency is just mechanically tested on the dynamo. Okay. And right. uh, the issue with spinning the engine any faster than that was that you start to have valve float issues. Oh. So even right. though we would like to center peak efficiency in our range, we mechanically yeah. can't. Okay. I so see. that was the best gearing ratio we could get. Huh. And I guess you guys mentioned that one at one point you're having problems with the engine dieseling because it's uh, such high compression. <laughs> um, so the engine actually has variable compression. We turned the compression ratio up to about 21.5 to 1. Okay. Um, so much higher you... than you'd see in any standard automobile. About 10 to 1 is standard. Right. And right. the engine, we run 100 octane race fuel, and even then, as soon as the engine got warm, you turn the spark plug off and the engine continued to run. <laughs> That's interesting. How do you, I guess you just put shims in here to yep. change? Okay. Yep, just shim the That's cylinder cold. away because now it's not right. attached to the motor. That's cool. Huh. That's really awesome. Spin it around and look at whatever you want, but as you can see, those are carbon fiber push rods and yep. they just move up and down. You can watch it from outside the engine. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Are the valves custom made or are those also Those from... are GX35 valves. Okay. GX35, uh, okay. Just much easier to deal with a valve that's already right. Right. made up pre-manufactured. Yeah. A super light flywheel on there. Yep. Um, but it about as light as we could make the um, stock yeah. starter pinion. Right. Okay. Other than that, just um, that's awesome. Lots of standard stuff. All right. Well, cool, Scott. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Have fun. So, what was the problem? Just different parameters. Okay. <laughs> So we couldn't get it to start, so we're gonna hook the uh, is it spraying at all. So try it. Oh yeah, it's spraying a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's real nice. Okay, so we have fuel. Turn that fuel on. Right. Fuel's on. Fuel pump. Did you try making it run? Oh, that. Otherwise, we Jesse, can you explain what what selecting that does? This is um, just your air fuel ratio variables. Okay. Um, you can go in here and you can also um, do your volumetric efficiency, uh, which changes okay. that in itself too. So you okay. really want to have your volumetric efficiency all set to one, which would be 100 in this. Hmm. Um, oh, okay. So wait, so when it runs, are those numbers that are put in there when it runs? This is relative to uh, manifold vacuum. Okay. 
So, which are these numbers on this axis here. Okay, so manifold vacuum versus... Versus RPM. Versus RPM. Okay, and then this one's RPM versus... RPM, they're all RPM versus manifold vacuum. Oh, okay. So that's just adjusting how much fuel it's going to spray in there. Okay. Huh, interesting. Backfire. <laughs> so do you think it's running too lean now? Um, I'm asking the volumetric efficiency. Okay. So now it's not happy. Did it plug that one or can you still see a hole? I'm pretty sure you can, you can kind of see it. It's still there. We're getting better. So I hope you guys enjoyed Super Mileage Club as much as I did. I know I always have fun at Super Mileage Club. Um, the people there are just awesome. And um, yeah, well, all, mostly engineers, and it's a lot of fun. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like and comment below whether you want to see this next week because Super Mileage Club is a weekly thing. Um, every Friday they do Super Mileage Club. And um, so let me know in the comments below whether you want to see this next week and um, I can see what I can do. Um, because there's lots of other things I wanted to show, but I just didn't get a chance because I was trying to help him out and uh, actually get some stuff done instead of just making videos. I mean, I love making videos, but um, I also have to uh, help him out because I'm a member of the club. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, give it a like. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And as other YouTubers have been saying, um, hit the bell be beside the subscribe button so you're notified when I upload new videos. That helps me out a lot. And um, that helps you guys see the videos if you want to watch them. Um, but yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching and keep experimenting.